all, just first of all, Outline, what are you uh, here particularly talking about at conference? Well, I'm going to be talking about the customer service experience and the use of modest technology to actually deliver a better service to our passengers. And when you say sort of modest use of technology, what do you mean? Well, you can really go to the town. If you look at all the kit sitting behind us, you can invest a whole lot of money. And clearly, you've got to be very judicious in how you uh, provide these services. So what we've been looking at is how we can make the, the incremental journey for the passenger through the airport a little bit better by the application of key technolo technological developments, uh, holographic staff, for example. This is what I'm quite interested in. There seems to be a theme this year about the fact that technology can move you on very quickly, but you do have to be careful not to either leave the passengers behind or do it too quickly so that actually you, you sort of degrade the service. I think we can be too clever. And we've got to remember, and I'm exactly the same. As a passenger, I leave my brain at home. Even though I work in the industry, when I go to someone else's airport, it's different, I'm not familiar. I need to be taken through and led through on the journey because if you want me to actually experience a great time and also spend some money, you've got to make me calm and pleasant and that's we've got to put ourselves in the passenger shoes rather than designing airports for airport operators. And when you say about sort of doing this slowly, thinking about what you do, you obviously got to research it and look at it, the, the holographic stuff for example, uh, you obviously looked at that and, and that's had a great feedback. Well we're, we're implementing it as we speak, uh, it, it looks great. It also can give repetitive messages, it never gets tired, okay, it may break down occasionally, don't know yet, but it never gets tired and you can just keep that cons constant message going through and for the first few years I'm sure passengers will say this is innovative, we'll have to move on to the next one which will be completely interactive rather than the sort of film recording of the holographic staff. But I, it comes back to the point I always keep saying, what if Disney ran airports, what would they look like? And in terms of the, the quality of people here at the, the conference, you, you go and listen to what other people have to say as well. You're chatting to other people before you do your, your presentation. Uh, wh why is that important to do that here in particular? I always come to these sort of things to learn. Not necessarily to buy, but to learn, to go back and say, We've, I've thought about this, I've seen this, I've heard what this company are doing. So I've just been in the customer experience session because I'm doing mine tomorrow morning. And essentially, it's about learning, it's about knowledge gathering. And the quality of the, the people here, it's impressive? As always, same as last year, very high quality speakers, very good delegate list. Uh, lots of people here, looks like there's a lot more here this year than there were last year. And you mentioned about how you can walk around and be blinded almost a little bit by science in terms of the technologies that are there, but it, it is fascinating to find out what's happening and what could be happening at, at your airport in the future. Yep, because the other thing that many of us face are real cost pressures. We may have all the technology, but our airline customers are saying we want more for less. And so there's a real drive to make sure we keep our costs down. A lot of our costs are staff, so we need to make sure that we use our staff effectively. And it is working smarter and delivering for our shareholders.